With Jurassic World Evolution 2 on its way, many people are wondering which dinosaurs from the first game will return for the sequel, and none more so than the hybrids themselves. Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video, and for today, I want to discuss whether or not the hybrids such as Indominus Rex, Indoraptor, and Scorpius Rex will be in the sequel game. Now we know that the Indominus Rex and Indoraptor were in the first game, and since there was no content after Jurassic World Evolution Return Jurassic Park DLC, um, Scorpius Rex was obviously not in that game. But we're going to talk about all of them. And the first thing I want to say is that, yes for the Indominus Rex and Indoraptor, I believe they will for sure be in the sequel game, because of the new mode being introduced in Jurassic World Evolution 2, which is called Chaos Theory Mode, which has been stated to, to go through iconic moments in the films and change their outcomes, which means we should be getting all the dinosaurs that are part of those scenes, including the Indominus Rex and Indoraptor. Now, I want to state something that's important. I do not think they will be a part of the campaign. This is because it wouldn't make any sense. But what could happen is, when you complete the campaign, not only will you unlock the modes like Sandbox Challenge and of course the just previously mentioned Chaos Theory modes, but also you'll get the hybrids unlocked as well. And what could happen is, once you unlock them, is that you'll be able to use them in all the unlocked modes, including Chaos Theory and Challenge and Sandbox. Or the other thing that could happen with the hybrids is that you don't unlock them in the after the campaign is complete. What could happen is you unlock them when completing Challenge Mode, because there has to be something that you want to achieve with Challenge Mode besides completing the fast as possible. You want to have something to gain from that which for the first game we got new skins for the dinosaurs, such as um, an Indominus Rex Coastal skin or a new T-Rex skin. Now for this, they could do that, or to make sure that you want to play it, you have to have the hybrids. So what could happen is, if you complete challenge mode at the most difficult level, you will unlock the hybrids and then fully be able to use um, Chaos Theory mode, so that means you'll be able to unlock Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom for the Chaos Theory mode. Which makes perfect sense, because then you'd be able to use all of the types of modes instead of just using Sandbox or Chaos Theory mode. You have to do Challenger mode as well, and that's the perfect way to do it. Now, while I've mentioned that I do believe that Indominus Rex and Indoraptor will be in the base game, I don't believe that's the case for Scorpius Rex. And the reason why is that due to Frontier already stating that there won't be any Camp Cretaceous content for the game's launch, which probably includes E750 itself. Now that doesn't mean there won't be any um, Camp Cretaceous content in the future, but possibly there will be waiting for the show to be complete, and that way if any new dinosaurs are introduced in future seasons, like Season 4, Season 5, or even the rumored Season 6, they can have it all be in one big DLC. And I think that would make sense, because if you had um, Scorpius Rex and all the Camp Cretaceous content from Seasons 1 to 3 already in the base game, and then we still had Season 4 and possibly 5, 6 as well, then they'd have to do a DLC for that, and people would be like, why is that not already in the game? Why not just have it all in the same DLC as a whole piece instead of just fragments? That would make more sense, honestly. But, guys... What do you guys think? This is probably a shorter video, of course, but do you guys think that the Scorpius Rex and Indominus Rex and Indoraptor will be brought back to for the sequel game of Jurassic World Evolution 2? Or do you think that they will be gone just like they are in the franchise now that they're all dead? But honestly, I have to say it would be a mistake not to have the hybrids. They are they're what they're one of the key parts of what built up the Jurassic World trilogy for so long, and just to completely scrap them for the game would probably be a huge mistake in my opinion. But leave in the comments whether you think that they will be appearing, and also leave in the comments if you want them to be in the game or not, and leave your reasons why. But if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like, 
And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt as we're almost at a thousand subscribers, guys. Hopefully we can do it by the one year anniversary of the channel. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.